The social awareness of rap has evolved into a form of musical education with rap artists involved in such projects as Artists United Against Apartheid, Sun City, World Destruction by Africa Bambata featuring the Sex Pistols' John Lydon, and Jesse Jackson with Stetsasonic on Africa. I always going to have messages in my music. I also will have fun music, music to make you dance, but I always, always will bring music to wake and keep people aware of what's happening in the world, especially like nuclear war. That's why we made the record World Destruction, to let people know that this nuclear war thing is something serious. You know, once you have nuclear war, you don't have to worry about the color problem, black and white, or who's hungry, or who's going to fly to the moon and all that, because that's going to take care of a lot of things. This thing here is because we saw a film on 2020 where Jesse Jackson had went to all the frontline states and we let he let us know about the situation in South Africa and what's going on and we felt like the youth and also the adults of America should know about this and how could we better do it than to talk on records right? right. Sonic is an interesting group because uh, they're not a typical rap group uh, by any stretch of the imagination uh, Daddy O who is the, sort of the spokesman for the group and one of the uh, top uh, the head writers in the group uh, is, is in a different mindset. He's about four years older than most of the new rappers that are coming up now, maybe even five years older. He has three kids and he has a regular job, uh, day job, and uh, he does all of that, plus he's in the studio every night, he produces other artists, and he writes some of the most incredible raps that anybody has ever heard. But they also have a, a political commitment, they care about the poor, they care about uh, the problems in South Africa. It's interesting how universal rap is. Even though some people might consider it abrasive, it has an incredible power that other kinds of music maybe can't even match because of the uh, hardness of it and this, the urgency of the music. It's been pretty successful up to date. We, at this point, are working for a teaching guide throughout the schools, and we've been doing a number of appearances. We did an appearance at Operation Push in Chicago, a reception for Oliver Tambo, who is the president of the African National Congress. We also did an anti-apartheid rally, which was like 120,000 people, in front of the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. This summer, that was pretty fun. And we, you know, we're continuously doing performances. Yes, uh, we did a United Nations press conference a couple of months ago, and yesterday we did another one there with the wife of, of Mugabe, who was the president of one of the frontline states. Chuck D's public enemy's interest in education is on a higher level than most rap artists. Through their music, they hope to stimulate the creation of 5,000 new young black leaders in five years. We have 5,000 people going in the same direction. It's called a revolution. And we're talking about revolution of the mind, you know. Uh, we're taking big steps in trying to revitalize um, the black mind to the point where we can't be taken advantage of anymore. You know, it doesn't come with how many weapons do you have, you know. It comes with how much do you have in the head. What, how, how well do you challenge the information coming at you and how well do you use the logic. The brain is designed to reason, you know, and that's its number one use to, to reason. You know, not just memorize, you know, that's just one of the gifts, but the reason. And um, with the reasoning, we can also understand what's happening with us, what's attacking us, and how to prevent this from happening in the future by knowing about our past. Those are things that have to be done. Leaders guarantee that you can do this, and they also teach this to more people, you know. One leader can be wiped out. Two can even be wiped out. Matter of fact, they, it's been a fact of history where two leaders 
have been set up to oppose each other through the media and the, and the devilments of the propaganda and hype that the American system has. You know? But the thing about it, when you talk about a lot of people gelling together, going in the same direction, it's a hard force to stop.